Welcome back to the lair. We have the basketball zen, as always, my co-host. We're gonna talk about this ah this amazing game four that we just you know had the pleasure to watch. Denver takes the lead, three one. Going back to the altitude, going back to the mountain. Zen, what are your thoughts? Uh, this series, uh, you know. I feel like the series went exactly how we both said it was. Mm -hmm. Denver's just better than Miami. They're just bigger than Miami. Aaron Gordon has a career night in the <laughs> NBA Finals with 27 <laughs> points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. A guy who was written off by a team like the Orlando Magic. But mm -hmm. Denver's just bigger, stronger, better, better, more skilled. And I felt like going into this series and even last game and our last reaction – you know, the only way the Heat really stood a chance was if they got their others involved actively. And somebody needs to get hot, you know, and really apply that pressure on Denver that I feel like is just not there right now. Um, I feel like they got good contributions tonight um, from Martin, Robinson, Lowry, and stuff like that. But as you can see, it's just not enough to keep up with Denver. What was your, I guess, synopsis synopsis on this uh, series so far? We're heading back to Denver. It seems like Denver's going to close it out. To me, um, the Heat just looked demoralized. Uh, they had Jokic on the bench for most of the fourth quarter in foul trouble. And it seemed like there was a glimmer of hope. They had the crowd back into it. They had the game at seven. And Jamal Murray proceeded to put on a playmaking clinic. Aaron Gordon finished everything. And nice. Bruce Brown put the cherry on top. Jokic didn't even have a good game on Jokic standard. 23 points on 8 for 19 shooting. 42% from the field. Um, he did hit three threes. Big threes. Only four free throws. 10 rebounds. Only four assists. And to hear these stats from Jokic. And to to leave with a loss you hold jamal murray under 20 points but he has 12 assists by the way jamal murray is the only point guard of ever all time to to have double digits assist every single game in the finals um i i think we should give him his respect i think we should give him his flowers he's a top five you can even argue top three point guard and i'm not gonna say oh it's just because he plays with Jokic. he has shouldered the load many times when Jokic has been on the bench where you're just like, wow, he's unstoppable. His shot wasn't going tonight. 5 for 17, 30% from the floor. But he did what uh, great players do. He contributed in other ways. Yeah, and I won't I won't go as far as you would would with Jamal Murray. I did feel like he, he did play very well tonight and also throughout this finals. I'll remind everybody, 5 for 17 from the field from Jamal Murray tonight. And then two, again, a lackluster Heat team who's just undersized. His teammate, if Jamal Murray's having a good finals, what's Aaron Gordon having, you know? So I kind of want to put it into perspective a little bit. This Heat team just should not be here. And I feel like a lot of the stats and Aaron Gordon having breakout nights, um, this is just a, a Heat team that is outmatched by a, a very solid championship team in Denver. I feel like Miami, again, they needed the others to kind of step up, but we get nothing um to really shake <laughs> the nets of denver or anything like that but i don't know man i i really think murray has been playing awesome but i do think that there's other point guards who could definitely step into his spot hmm. and do exactly this maybe I mean, even better 30 point um, triple double last game are relative no of course but these games are relatively close we can definitely use that against jamal murray if you want to like attack like you know um, say he's doing a good job of pace of play and stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I just feel like there's definitely other point guards that can definitely do what he's doing in a different way. But the way that Jamal Murray is doing it, it, it obviously fits very well for a championship um, this year, and I'll definitely give him a, his followers on that. That's for sure. Um, as far as the Heat goes, Jim, Jim Jimmy Butler I actually had one of his better games, one of his best games this series. 25 points, 9 for 17, 50% from the floor, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Played good defense throughout the game, hit a big 3. I'm about to say, you to think, end the, you think that's a good game? Zero steals. 
yeah, zero steals, one block. You know, he what? It's, what it's else? A different Jimmy. What more it's do you want, Jimmy? What more? I want defensive Jimmy. You know, honestly, I want triple double Jimmy with assists at the twelve thirteen marker and some other players getting hot. I feel like Jimmy Butler would be best served shutting down Jamal Murray and shutting down he somebody did. else if he could. But I mean, he, he did. Can't. He's gassed. Jamal was 5 for 17. Gassed. Jamal, there's, they were supposed to win this game. Jamal, 5 for 17. Oh, Yo yeah. Kitch, supposed, yeah Kitch, nobody else showed up for Miami. Nobody Yo Kitch, else showed up. 40% from the floor. You took the through two stars and, you know, you, you made them be poor scorers. They did not have an efficient game scoring the ball. They, 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 the Heat had a pretty balanced attack. 12 points from Kevin Love, 13 Nobody from Lowry. I, I'm looking at Caleb Martin, 5 for 12 again. Struess, 0 for 4. Gave Vincent 1 for... The G-Leaguers. The G-Leaguers. Because Bam, Kevin Love, they had an impact. You know, Bam had 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 20 points. Like, Bam did what he could. Kevin Love had an outer body experience in, in the first. <laughs> like, yeah, but if you look at two guys who are getting 38 minutes combined, two guys that are supposed to be starters, mm -hmm. two guys who you start each quarter and presumably end each half with, Max Struess and Gabe Vincent. Literally. A combined one for 10, Literally. one for seven from three. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like Miami, we, 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 like, we gave them their flowers with their role players, but right now it's hurting them. They're not getting enough contributions that I feel like that's the only way that they were going to win remember, is if their role players showed up. Remember what I said last game? The, he needs to put Duncan Robinson in earlier. He needs to give Duncan Robinson yep, more minutes. He did. Uh, yeah. Duncan, five for seven, two threes. And you see how it looks so bad on the box score. It, it, he shifted the whole momentum of the game, but it's already bottom of the third quarter. They're already it's down. Really... Like, I said Duncan Robinson should start by game three, and Spoles just refuses to give this dude more minutes. This is not Struce's series at all. And Gabe Vincent is starting to string some bad games together. Caleb Martin is finding himself... But they're going back on the mountain. They're going back to the altitude. I don't know. I think. And then you look at the box score. If you look at the box score for, like, the Denver Nuggets and stuff, like, they're not really dicing in the players like that on the bench. They're just going balls to the wall with their best players playing 35 minutes plus. Whereas Miami, you only have two guys that can really do that mm -hmm. and really give you good contributions. Everyone else is just kind of nickel and diamond. From a sense of points and also you could say rebounds and assists, nickel and diming five to ten is what you see across the board. No one steps up with fifteen points or twenty points or anything like that. Or even, you know, dominates the boards or, or creates havoc with passing. Kyle Lowry did thirteen points and seven assists. Lowry was good in spurts. Yeah, very he was good. good in very good in spurts, but it's like why couldn't you just start Kyle Lowry instead mm -hmm. of Struce, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and just as the layer said, why not start Duncan Robinson? But this is the crux of those role players and not knowing who to play at what time. You gotta Sometimes you got to try something. Steve Kerr tinkers with his lineups all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Uh, uh, Mike Malone gave the rookie almost 30 minutes the other night. Like, you got to make. You gotta make those decisions. Bench Michael Porter Jr. You gotta be able to make decision these decisions when it's time. Max Struess and Gabe Vincent have not earned their keep right now. Not this series, especially Struess. Not this series. I I expect to see more from Haywood, Highsmith, Duncan Robinson, and Kyle Lowry next game. Those yeah, are the, oh Kevin Love, Kevin five. Love too, Kevin Love. If, more minutes. If, if Spolstra is gonna really be a fair coach. Duncan Robinson needs to start in this finals in Game Five, at least in the in the series. Duncan Robinson should start, and Kyle Lowry, if this is going to be his last chase at a title, he mm -hmm. should start as well. Mm -hmm. And then the first guy off the bench, Caleb Martin, for sure. Gabe Vincent and Strews, I might have them on a short lease, if mm -hmm. anything, and just for contractual reasons with them too, because both of them, ironically enough, are both unrestricted free agents after this year. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that in tandem, they both pull a disappearing act in the NBA Finals. Minus 21 for Gabe Vincent. Yikes. Wow, man. He was just out there collecting fouls, man, and... Ah, this is this is nasty work to hear that he's gonna be a, a unrestricted free agent after the stint. Um, give give Duncan Robinson the minutes. 
and that might even kickstart Struz. Kickstart give like remember where you guys came from. Remember you're coming from the bottom. Remember you used to come off the bench. What got you here? I definitely think Spolster should 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 make a splash like that. You know, or who knows? Maybe we'll see Tyler Hero. <laughs> Although I think it's too late. <laughs> yeah, I think it's too late for the Tyler Hero talks. Yeah.